Hello people, yay! Yes, we are making the viral milky donuts and I've made this so simple. We are using cup measurements, no mixer, anyone can make it with the secret i shared in this video and i'm going to show you how to make the filling so you need to watch to the very end i just measured my floor using my cup you can see how i measured my floor we are using three cups of flour two tablespoons of sugar half teaspoon of salt i am using one and a half tablespoon of your instant or active dry yeast two tablespoons of your um butter you can use butter or margarine but my dear i prefer margarine it gives your donut a very unique texture i just added in my yeast don't worry the ingredients and your measurements will be in the description box we are using warm water for this recipe i'm going to add it directly to my flour just one cup of warm water and an extra one tablespoon if you are using active dry yeast you may need to proof your yeast in warm water before adding it into your flour so i can put a video of that in the description box whereby i did proof my yeast if you're using active dry yeast after adding it my water i'm just going to mix my dough cover and allow it to rest for 20 minutes i think this my method should be the fastest and the quickest method to make your dough because you're not allowing it to proof for long yet you're going to get a white line and your donut to come out being very fluffy while i'm waiting for my donut to rest for 20 minutes i'm just going to prepare my tray where i'm going to be placing my donut sprinkle sufficient amount of flour because i do not want my donut to get stuck to my paper why um frying this is after 20 minutes i'm just going to take out my dough from my bowl and knead now one secret you can't joke about this recipe is the kneading the kneading is where the cocoa is you're going to be kneading for 20 to 30 minutes if you are a beginner say 20 minutes but my dear if you want to get that white line you see that line my dear is 30 minutes don't even joke about it 20 minutes we do but if you want to be on the safe side go for 30 minutes use your favorite music knead and dance and before you know it you are done kneading for 30 minutes i did go for 30 minutes and this is how my dough is looking you can see how smooth is looking compared to how it was before kneading now we are going to divide our dough into portions and we i usually advise 80 to 100 grams if you're going for smaller size do not please go for 80 grams but if you want it to be big go for 100 grams i have been using 80 grams for my previous recipe today we are using 100 grams so this is odogu size you understand this is odogu size donut so i'm going to go on now to roll my donuts in my palm to make sure that i pinch it properly we are not cutting out any excess dough because all my dough has been weighed and once i'm done i'm going to just place them in my kitchen or parchment paper and cover and allow it to proof for 15 to 20 minutes 10 minutes into proofing time, start heating up your oil. Your donuts should not overproof. If it overproof, it will go bad. Add a little bit of um, um, uh, what they call it, flow into your oil. And if it is bubbling slightly, start adding your donuts into the oil. You fry on low heat. Your oil should heat up slightly. Then when you are frying, make sure it's on medium low. If the oil is becoming too hot, reduce it to the lowest. Shall find a way of regulating the heat so that your donuts will be bubbling slightly. If it is bubbling too much, it won't cook properly on the inside. You can see the white line is popping. It is brown on both sides and I had to flip to the other side when one side is properly cooked. I'm going to take it out of the oil and I'm placing a sieve or salve to strain excess oil. You can see the line. Is it not popping? It is popping. So if you don't have a mixer, don't worry. With this method, we will make our own milky donuts. Not be so. <laughs> Look at how the donut looks. They look so good. I call this bouncing baby donuts. They are fresh. This is what they call fresh donuts from the oil. Now let's make our filling. We are using one cup of evaporated milk, half cup of condensed milk, and one cup of your powdered milk i did blend my powdered milk to be really smooth use your mixer your wigs even if it's your spatula the one used to turn about stir it for a while if you're using your spatula you may need to wix for like five to ten minutes your mixer two to three minutes until you have this consistently turn it pour it in your piping bag or any bag that you know is strong enough for you to pipe your filling into your donut and set aside now we are done preparing our filling we're just going to go on out to roll our donuts or base our donuts in our powdered milk shades milky donuts the donuts will have milk all over it now our piping bag is ready let's prepare our donuts to be filled with the filling so just use a knife or a donut stick or anything that can ball a hole for you in your donuts you can even use a toothpick fill in your donuts with your 
filling and this is what we got at the end of the day i just had to go on out to fill in the remaining donuts now make sure you do not fill your donut too much if not you're going to have what you can see on this video you can see the first one i filled ru running is running as in and it won't look nice you want your donut to look appealing so once you get to the top of your donut just stop to make it look more presentable if yours is running you can clean it the essence um feeling just to make your donut look more appealing and this is what we got at the end of the day added a little bit of sprinkles can't you see don't worry oh you shouldn't add sprinkles it's just my own paparazzi look at this donut look at how it's looking hey, hey. have you watched to this point are you haven't subscribed to david's kitchen hey what are you waiting for do subscribe do like and share do comment tell me what you think about this recipe sure you'll be trying it out abby sure you'll be trying it out it's not hard all the secrets has been shared in this video do like, do share, do comment, and see you in my next one. Bye bye. Good to have you here. See you next time.